So, more fun Bumble stories. <laughs> so, I'm on Bumble now looking for men to be friends with. And I felt like I should let them know that I want to be friends first. But my coach is like, you can just be exploring. You don't have to tell anyone that you want to be friends first. You don't owe a guy sex. Or you're not leading him on if you're going on a date. And Charizard, you're not responsible for his feelings. Just go and be you and have fun and see this person in front of you as just a full whole person. And that is great advice. Anyway, so I'm on Bumble looking for friends and I'm looking at men ages 30 through 70 that are at least a seven level attractive and seem like they would be interesting. So I was talking with this gentleman who actually is very close to me. We seem to have a lot in common. He's in his 60s. And he wanted to meet for a drink tomorrow night. I didn't like the place he suggested, so I suggested another place. And then he suggested this restaurant on the lake, which is really nice. And I was all set to go. And I was just checking my Bumble this morning, and he had unmatched me. Ah, uh, like... I'm glad I didn't fuck this guy. Not that I would have, but um, he didn't even say I changed my mind, you know. Um, and that would have been the gentlemanly thing to do. It's, hey, hey, Sharzad, um, I changed my mind about the dinner. Like, he just ghosted me. He just unmatched me. When he, after scheduling a date with me and the time and where he wanted to go and all of that. So... I'm not hurt, but I'm just surprised. Like, these guys are full of surprises. The bottom line is that we don't owe anyone anything. We're just exploring in these early stages of dating. And we never know who someone is except through a combination of getting to know them over time. Are they consistent over time? I've met so many people who are like really charming and nice in the beginning. Do you know charming is a walled off strategy? So people who come across really charming or super into you in the beginning are actually walled off. They have too many boundaries. They have walls up. They're not being authentic and connecting. So you got to watch out for the charmers. Um, just people are just interesting. I've had so many people just unmatch me. There was another gentleman I was talking to yesterday. He's from actually from Switzerland and he was very nice. We were talking and then he decided, then he's like, I just don't think they were a good match. And then he waited for me to say thank you before he unmatched me. Now that man was much more of a gentleman than the guy who made the, invited me on a date and then unmatched me. So um, it's just interesting doing this and seeing who people are. If you're single and you haven't done any dating, I highly recommend you get on Bumble and just start interacting with people and get a flavor of who people are and how they show up. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to share. Another Bumble story. I got ghosted.